It's that special time of year again. No, I'm not talking about the holiday season. I'm talking about the release of DJI's latest action camera, the Osmo Action 6. This latest iteration in DJI's action cam lineup combines some of the best features from previous models with some cool new upgrades. The two biggest being an all new 1 over 1.1 inch square sensor and a variable aperture of f2 to f4, which is a first for an action cam. The 1 over 1.1 inch square sensor takes the image quality of the Osmo Action Series even further, and shooting in the new custom mode allows for flexible cropping in post, so you can share the same content across multiple platforms in different aspect ratios. Frame rate wise, you're getting the same settings as the previous model, those being up to 4K 120fps or 240fps at 1080p. You can lock in a fixed aperture between f2, f2.6, f2.8, and f4 or you can have the camera select the best aperture based on your environment in auto mode. Shooting at f2 nets some impressive low light footage to the point where you could easily think this was shot in super night mode. And f4 was perfect for our ice skating outing. Other new features include portrait mode, subject tracking, multiple built-in film tones, and a 2 times lossless zoom so you can get more of a subject in frame without having to move closer to it. Of course, fan favorite features from previous models such as Horizon Steady, Horizon Balancing, Rocksteady, and Rocksteady Plus are back as well. The Action 6 is also cold resistant down to negative 4 degrees, which was great for our shoots in pre-winter NYC, and has a battery life of 4 hours. As with previous models, Osmo Audio Connect is back so you can connect to DJI mics without a transmitter and it's waterproof up to 65 feet. Finally, internal storage has seen a slight upgrade offering up to 50 gigabytes, topping the previous model's 47. It's no secret that newer iterations of a lot of action cameras just recycle the same features with minimal upgrades. So I'm happy to say that with the DJI Osmo 6 at least, that is not the case here. The variable aperture combined with the increased sensor size and optical flexibility shows that DJI is definitely focusing on more low light shooting and seems to be experimenting with bringing newer features and technology to their cameras. So if you're someone who's looking to get their first action cam or maybe upgrading to a newer model, do you think these new features are worth it? Let me know in the comments below. For now, I'm Sam with B&H and I'll see you next time.